starting with von Willebrand disease, the most prevalent inherited bleeding disorder out there, affecting up to 1% of the entire population. In the most common form of von Willebrand disease, there's a quantitative deficiency of circulating von Willebrand factor, which is normally produced by both megakaryocytes in the bone marrow and endothelial cells inside blood vessels. Let's talk about those vessels. That's where the bleeding is happening, after all. On top of the air hockey tables, we've recreated that characteristic squamous endothelial surface that lines all arteries and veins. And you see that big gash through the logo? Let's find out what happens when normal factor production is interrupted. First of all, let's draw in some autosomal dominant dominoes. Von Willebrand disease is caused by an autosomal dominant mutation in the VWF gene, which results in less von Willebrand factor circulating in the blood. Deficiency of circulating factor has several downstream effects. To understand what happens, let's first review the role that von Willebrand factor normally plays in coagulation. To do that, we need to injure the endothelium and expose the underlying subendothelium. So we've lifted up a few of the endothelial tiles. Now von Willebrand factor can do its thing. First, and most importantly, it forms an adhesive bridge between platelets and subendothelial structures at the site of endothelial injury. Specifically, it binds to both glycoprotein 1B on platelet surfaces and to the exposed collagen on the endothelium, linking them together. See how those platelet pucks are starting to aggregate together? This process not only serves to form a home base for the formation of a platelet plug, but also activates platelets, causing them to degranulate and further activate the coagulation cascade. One lab value that might pop up on the exam is bleeding time, a pretty old school test used to assess platelet function. Since von Willebrand factor is necessary for proper platelet function, a deficiency will prolong bleeding time to some degree. It's not very sensitive, or reproducible, or convenient. But bleeding time is still sometimes used when identifying patients with severe hemostatic disorders. And remember, platelet count is normal here. It's merely platelet function that we're messing with. The second function of von Willebrand factor is to bind factor VIII in circulation and protect it from degradation, significantly increasing its half-life. This allows factor VIII to participate in the intrinsic coagulation pathway. So watch your face. See that eight ball falling to the floor? In von Willebrand disease, reduced von Willebrand factor means factor VIII isn't going to hang around for very long. Remember, factor VIII participates in the intrinsic clotting pathway, the function of which is measured by partial thromboplastin time, abbreviated APTT. To sum it up, less von Willebrand factor means less factor VIII, which leads to a dysfunctional intrinsic pathway, causing a prolonged APTT, embodied by that prolonged sound made by all those pucks bouncing around. 